There is a grandeur here, this place, this performance, this home of Chinese political power. The National People's Congress is an act of careful choreography, an annual political gathering, a mass rubber stamping of decisions made behind closed doors. And center stage, of course, was the president, confirmed this week to his third term, and he kicked off this new era with an uncompromising message to the world. We should strengthen national defense and army modernization, building the People's Army into a great wall of steel that effectively safeguards national security, sovereignty, and development interests. This is his brand now, increasingly his calling card, China's strength in the face of a hostile, threatening West. And it's a position he can pursue with confidence. His power has never been greater, his position all but unchallengeable. What has happened here this week has largely been about entrenching the power of one man. President Xi has promoted his allies and pushed his agenda. He wants the world to know it is his assertive vision for China on the world stage that it now needs to reckon with. And a reckoning has rarely felt closer as relations with America spiral. The real heat is here in the Strait of Taiwan, the self-governing island China sees as its own. It's the key reason, say experts, regional defense alliances like AUKUS make it so angry. China thinks of AUKUS as a, a collective effort by the West uh, to uh, keep China in check. And uh, China has been uh, trying very hard to convince uh, countries in the region that this is uh, not Good. Image matters here in Xi Jinping's China. So much is airbrushed and sanitized. But the danger of this standoff is as real as it is serious, and positions are increasingly entrenched. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News in Beijing.